it is time for the annual biannual we probably do this more often possibly even less often than i give credit uh it's time to tinker tuesday update modernize the ronster cross once again now i assume i assume you're thinking you know geez the ronster cross it's pretty it's pretty modernized and upgraded as is what more could you possibly want to do besides put like disc brakes on it well we're not putting disc brakes on it that's for sure that'll probably never happen but the few small things i can change and most notably for today is our handlebar shape as of right now we've got a very traditional road drop on here these are 3t ergosums 42 centimeters wide there is zero flare to these they're like they just drop they just drop straight down pretty typical of any drop bar from three years ago four years ago five years ago and one thing i've noticed by riding the bars that are on my la sprint the envy carbon ridiculous bars that are on there they have like a little tiny bit of flare in there i didn't love that at first now when i jump onto bikes that don't have at least like five degrees to ten degrees i think what are those envy bars have Uh, well, they don't actually, they don't even specify how much, how much flare it's, it's that. Anyway, uh, I've learned, I've learned to like it. I don't like 35 degrees, but I do like a little bit, a lot more than nothing. And so our modernizing parts will be supplied by, does anyone want to guess? I'm sure you can guess, right? Are you guessing? Richie Bicycle Components. So for bars in this case to mimic that like light flared feeling that I like of my Envy bars, Richie has the, what are these called? The Butano that has a very much specified 12 degree of flare, four degrees of sweep. Oh, so it comes back four degrees. Cool. So these are like, these are almost like the, these are almost like the much tamer version of, uh, of the Ergomaxes. Cool. The flare is the thing I'm most excited about. They've also got a similar compact drop to that of the 3T bars that I'm a big fan of. But what else is there? Well, we've got to have a proper matching finishing kit. That is a zero setback, one bolt world championship series seat post. Currently there's like a 25 millimeter setback post on here. The only reason that I got this seat post is because when I was putting this bike together after polishing it, I think the first time, this was the only like relatively reasonably priced seat post in stock at the suppliers for the bike shop that I worked at. And there was only the setback versions. I do not like setback posts. I have enough setbacks in every project I try to take on. I don't need, I don't need one for the fit of my bike. So to finish things off up front, we've got a four axis 44 stem in 120, in 110 mils of length to uh, the fact that the saddle and the seat post will look somewhat normal without it looking too far rammed forward. That's a huge bonus. I've also got another uh, fabric scoop saddle. Well, I think it's kind of got to be said, I am not going to miss this zip service course stem. It's so tall. Um, I just don't find it actually looks all that great on this build, but it was the one that matched the seat post that was on there. So I never really went out of my way to change it. Now that there's 
matchy matchiness going on with a much kind of sleeker, slimmer looking stem. Something for me to get kind of excited about. I don't want to lose this. I like the way this looked. I've had, it at, I've had it at this point for the last like 15 minutes. I've just been staring at it. I need to tape down the cables, but I just keep like turning around and me like, man, look, like, just look at all the, like, look at all the space here. It's so simple and clean. And then I just, it's gonna look so good when it's done. Small, small changes. It's crazy how much it changes the look of the bike. Okay, I do need to find my electrical team. <laughs> Where is it? To thank the sponsors, you know, all the people who sponsor the channel through Patreon, um, I've actually been doing a better job of posting things. If you're a Patreon member, you already know what this video is about, and I just made a post about it to see if anyone could guess what the changes were. I think there's a certain level of guilt about the support that you guys give and the things that, like, I don't really give back. So I'm trying my best. If you want to support the channel through Patreon and maybe be part of stuff like that, kind of like, uh, say, for example, Chris Alto did, um, you could do that through the link below. I think there's a link below. Also, there's links to other stuff you can buy. It all supports the channel. It all makes stuff like this possible. Okay, let's keep going. I'm loving the way this turned out. It looks so good. There's just something about like the thickness of this stem, the chunkiness, like the way how chunky it looked that kind of made the front end look a little like pot bellied. But also the setback, like the craziness, like this design versus, I mean, come on, there's no contest. I mean, if you're like me and, and vanity, just the way stuff looks is equally possibly more important than anything. Like just looks on its own is above all else. The single bolt Richie C post that is just, it's so good. Look at it. Good choices. The C post is easily the thing I'm most excited about. Then the stem, then the bars, because it's just that feeling that I've now gotten used to. Oh yeah. Every so often, keeping the Ronster Cross within modern times. Very, very important. So here's what this 2008 Tricross Sport looked like before versus it now. Very much the perks of keeping a bike around for a long time and being okay with spending money on it to get it to like this kind of point. Because I know there's a huge mentality where it's like, what? Why would you spend that kind of money on that when you could just get a whole new bike? Because you could build something sick like this. Does it make sense? No, none of anything doing to bikes ever makes sense. Just get out of here with your rationalized thoughts. Go buy one of these seat posts, make your bike look better. Okay. Well, you don't know when you're gonna go. So don't take this shit there. You better have some fun and kind of other. 